hope you're all well. So I've got one of my three minute tip tricks or hacks for you today. And this is all to do with the contour tool. So I've got an image here. This is just a design space image and you can see it's one complete image. I don't want that. I want four or five layers of different colors. In order to do that, I need to separate my pieces. Now, if I try to do this by using my slice tool, it's just gonna be a nightmare. So I'm going to use the contour tool today to completely transform this image. So the first thing I want to do is actually duplicate this and I'm going to duplicate it so I've got four layers. I'm then going to highlight all of those. I'm going to go to align and I'm going to center. The next thing I want to do is actually come in and change each of my color layers just so I know which ones I'm dealing with. So I've got my top layer here, so I'm just going to go to contour. So this is then going to bring up the contour screen. Now, I could spend all my time clicking on all of these pieces and removing them individually and then just keeping the pieces that I want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go straight to hide all contours. Now you'll notice that there's always one left. It will always leave one of your contour pieces on there. And if you don't want that specific piece, you can just click another piece and then turn that one off. So I want all of my leaves. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start adding them back in. And for me, it's quicker to do it this way than to remove everything else. So if you've got lots of pieces like this, remove everything and then just bring back the ones that you want. So once I'm happy with it, I can then close that down. And you can see that I've then got my green layer here. So let's then click on this layer. Again, I'm going to go to contour. And again, rather than removing all the pieces I don't want, I'm going to hide all contours. I'm going to click on the first piece that I want to bring back and then I can remove this one. And then again, I can just start adding all the pieces that I want to come back. If you're struggling to see, you can also zoom in on your contour as well. Now you'll see because our purple layer is now above our pink layer, we can't see our pink underneath. So all I'm going to do is just click on that and then I'm just gonna move it so it becomes on top now. And there we go, we've gone from one complete solid image to four beautiful layers and we've completely transformed the way that the image looks. Mm -hmm.